So, hello everyone. Um, my name is Mirna Abdo and uh, I'm one of Afikra's Berlin ambassadors. Thank you all for joining us today in our community presentations. I'm very happy to present my second forward with Afikra alongside Ahmed, uh, Nihal and uh, Dima. Um, my topic today is about the flower men of Saudi Arabia. Um, I stumbled upon this topic through a travel blogger that I've been following on Instagram for some time, and I was instantly fascinated by it, as uh, it is not what you would typically associate with Saudi Arabia or perhaps with the uh, Arab men in general. So it's a very important reminder that our cultures are very diverse and um, yeah, also very interesting. <clears throat> so this is the this is the article I'm forwarding. It's by Seen Arabia, and you can see the link here. I I put some other links in the last slide for some further reading if you're interested. <clears throat> so, who are the flower men of Saudi Arabia? Uh, the Al Qahtani tribe has lived uh, on the foothills of uh, the Asir Mountains in southwestern Saudi Arabia um, for thousands of years. Um, the region has a quite different landscape than the rest of the kingdom. So, it receives the highest average of rainfall in Saudi Arabia. Um, the region of Asir, in Arabic, Asir translates to difficult, uh, and it got its name due to the challenging remoteness of these villages. In fact, up until the 1990s, uh, some of these villages were only reachable by a network of handrails and rope ladders, which gave the village uh, Habala its name, uh, which translates to rope in Arabic. And uh, after the Saudi government um, invested in constructing cable cars, uh, the region started getting more uh, more tourists. So, um, as I just mentioned, uh, the amount of rainfall the region gets uh, makes it quite uh, lush and green, where a vast uh, variety of flora grows. Uh, many Qahtani tribesmen still maintain the old practice uh, or tradition of wearing flower garlands on their heads, as you can see in these uh, very interesting pictures. Uh, the floral nickname, uh, the flower men of Saudi Arabia, comes from the fact that they wear these arrangements of flowers, herbs, and grasses, such as wild basil, jasmine, marigolds, and fenugreek. Uh, some men wear them daily simply to look good or to smell good, while others wear them on special occasions like major Muslim holidays in Ramadan or on Eid, or for special occasions such as weddings or I don't know, graduations. And uh, aside from being worn for the aesthetic purposes, these garlands are sometimes used for, for, the, for the medicinal benefits of these herbs uh, to cure headaches and congested sinuses. Um, as you can see in this picture, some, some men even dye their beards with the henna to match the bright orange of the marigolds. But I know that this is not specific to Asir or to Saudi Arabia, as um, I know that many men um, dye their beards with henna. So um, what was once a little known tradition from these geographically remote villages in the mountains has gathered momentum in the past years, um, so much that the Saudi Ministry of Culture started holding an annual flowerman festival in the Rijal al Ma village in the province of Asir. And the attendees of the first Flowerman Festival back in 2019 amounted to roughly 30,000 uh, visitors. I'm not sure if there was a festival last year, I'm assuming there wasn't, but I know that uh, this year there was also a festival, a Flowerman Festival that was held um, in Rijal Al Ma in September. So uh, this festival celebrates three aspects of Hasiri culture. The first one being flowermen and determination. Um, the festival acts showcase some of the village's most important customs, uh, including regional folklore dances, with nights of life performances, art and poetry nights, 
um, while also celebrating the ancient tradition of wearing these uh, very fabulous uh, flower crowns. <clears throat> Um, and it's not just about the men here. The festival also celebrates the women of Alma, who expertly paint the walls of their homes in, in this popular art style uh, called Al Qat Al Asiri, um, where women uh, paint the insides of their homes. Uh, it's such a visual treat. I mean, it's very colorful. Uh, the interior walls, particularly of the Majlis, uh, which is the room designated for receiving guests, are painted in, in an array of colors like yellow and uh, very bright green and, uh, and blue. And uh, the geometric designs reflecting the patterns that defines an essential element of Hasiri identity has been recognized by the UNESCO's uh, representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2017. Um, the third aspect of the festival celebrates um, Rijal's fort, which highlights the design and architecture of the mud and stone houses in the picturesque village of uh, Rijal Alma. Uh, visitors of the festival can enjoy this vibrant, fast moving, uh, intricately colored patterns projected across the ancient stone buildings. Um, and these are the same as you can see, the same colors um, local women use to paint um, their houses. So here's a link of some very interesting articles that I, um, I stumbled upon through, the, through my research. And I would like to share a short video of, um, of the festival so that you can have an idea. So just give me a second. So thank you all uh, for joining the presentation. Yeah, this is my contact details if you want to get in touch. And uh, yeah, thank you again.